like a lot of you, I'm a huge fan of The Mandalorian. I mean, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I have been probably since my entire life. I'm in that in that little subsection of people that they used to call like Xennials, the people who were born between 77 and 82, the, the Star Wars years. I'm an 82 boy. I've always loved Star Wars. And so when The Mandalorian came out and was the shining example of everything that Star Wars should be, I knew that it was going to be important for a lot of people. And it has been, and it's been amazing seeing the costuming that's come out of it as well as everything else. And I'm a big fan of Pedro Pascal, obviously, a boy Oberon. Uh, so when I had the opportunity to pick up one of the helmets, I had to do it. There have been a number of people who produced these helmets. And a lot of them have gone through the same process, you know, 3D modeling it, 3D printing it, uh, resin casting, slush casting, roto casting, all that kind of stuff. Most of them have been 3D printed models. I came across Core Geek's version. Now, me and Eric, I will admit, have been friends for a number of years. And I love to support other artists whenever I get the opportunity to do so. And I will stress, I have no plans to cosplay the Mando. None at all. I don't, I don't. I, I, I keep telling myself, maybe, maybe, but I don't have any plans to do it. But what I would love to do, what I would love to do is get one of the helmets, beautifully made, and paint it in the same paint job that has been done on screen using the same paint and make it look beautifully, perfectly screen accurate just to store around my house and put on the wall and look rad. And it will probably be in the background of a lot of these shots going forwards. So Eric uh, of Core Geek, he has produced what I feel is the best model that anyone's created of this thing so far. So I bought one. Now it's unpainted, it's a pure resin cast. And I said, as and when I got it, I would do an unboxing. This is the box, this is a knife. Let's get into it, see what we've got. I'm quite excited, I'm a little bit nervous. I kind of so this thing has come all the way over from the states i will admit i got stung on the import tax because in the uk we have issues with import tax so on top of what i paid for it um i paid another 47 pound of import tax but when you're supporting another artist who whose work you love anyway it's not a big deal so let's have a look how this is packed. Okay, so we've got a big old piece of foam on the side, loads of foam on the bottom, big. It says open, what's in here? Oh, this is probably going to be like the side pieces. Yeah, so in this, in this bag, ooh, oh God, they're significantly heavier than I expected them to be. In here we have, oh my God. Dude, Eric, these are so smooth. These are the side pieces that go on the side of the helmet. Wow, they are insane. And then in here we have the two bits that go above that. Check, my God, check those out. They are unbelievably smooth. So part of the reason I wanted to buy this helmet as opposed to making one myself, because, you know, I obviously could not went out on this CR-10S Pro behind me. It's got the build plate to do it in, in a single shot. Um, the sanding's a lot of work. And given the amount of time I've spent sanding and what a hassle I know it is, I would much prefer to have somebody else do it, I'll admit. Right, so here's the thing. Here's the bulk. I'm sure there's nothing else in there. Oh, so it comes with the visor that goes inside. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting that. That's awesome. So I can actually line it. So there's nothing else in there. It's just some padding. And here's the main bit, right? This is this is the money shot. This is the bit we've all been waiting for. I'm going to cut it open, but very, very carefully because. <laughs> oh, oh, Eric, you, 
beautiful. Fuck yeah. Check that out. There you go. You've got the Core Geek. Core Geek logo set up the front there. That is insanely smooth. I can't I can't get over that. So these bits that were provided go on the sides. They basically sit in here and below it. Oh my god. That is a that is how you finish ship and satisfy a customer who is into the fandom that you're into. That is an amazing piece of work. Um, it weighs probably just south of a, around a kilo, maybe a little bit over actually. One, two, one, four. It's hard to say if my arms aren't measuring devices, but that is beautifully done. The inside is really smooth. You can see the gloss from where it's been rotocasted really nicely. It feels pretty evenly distributed. Um, obviously you get a couple of, like if you look at the bottom here, you can see where the slushing has happened at the bottom here, but when you rotocast anything, that's going to happen. You can't help that, but it's, it's not a problem. It's slippery far. And before you would put this on your head, you would get a foam insert and you would put that around there anyway. But I guess I should put it on my head, right? <laughs> oh, God, I'm not doing my hair today. Right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Mando time. Obviously, I can't see anything um, because this bit's still in here. But that is... That is good. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just to just to reconfirm in case you've not heard it me say a million times before. This is Core Geeks Mando helmet. Now, if you want one of these, they're going to cost you a couple of hundred dollars um, with my import tax and everything like that. I paid probably about two hundred and seventy five pounds. That is worth every penny. That's a really beautifully made prop helmet. Like this is, I will put a primer layer, I will cut this out, I'll put a primer layer down and then I'll go straight to gloss black and then straight to the, the proper color. Like this, I'm not, this, no sandpaper is gonna touch this. It's easy, easy work to make to a beautiful helmet. Eric, Thank you very much for this. You made a work of art, mate. And yeah, you definitely should support this guy's work. If you like seeing this kind of stuff, obviously feel free to stick a like below. And if you do want to see more, give us a subscribe and then comment to let me know that you've done it so I can thank you in person. Otherwise, Core Geek can be found at Core Geek, at Core Geek, over all kinds of socials. His name's Eric. Go and find him, his quality. Tell him I sent you, give him my love and go and buy one of these. Otherwise, have a fabulous time. Go find Baby Yodas and do loads of cool Mando shit. All right, otherwise, until next time, Valentine's out.